All right, so I've had the question of, I want to have my Google Meet um, with my students on Thursdays. Now, how do I get that link to the students, and how do they access it? And there's a way you can do it right through Canvas. So you do not need to send them an email or anything. Everything will be done right through Canvas. And what you can do is you go into your week one module. You're going to go to a new assignment. And I'm going to say Google Meet week one, period two. And then I'm going to click Add Item. Now when I'm in there, I'm going to click on that to edit. I'm going to get my rich content editor like I do for every other thing I've done. You're going to come to More External Tools. And in here you're going to see Google Hangouts Meet. Now you're going to have to allow this and grant access. It's also going to make you do like sign in to Google and then let it see your calendar basically. So you're just going to allow that. Right, this is all you need to do on this point here. And then if you have multiple sections, I only have one section in mind, um, but let's say I only want to meet with Kate Sutton, I can put her in there, but you would just put your, your section in there. So I would say like my COVID weekly here. And then when I want it available from. So I want it available on May 4th, I'm sorry, May 7th, until May 7th. But I want it at, I should have had the time, 10.25 a.m. to 11 o'clock a.m. So that means that way they can't get into it any other time um, with, when, I, when you're not there. Um, so then all they would then do is click on that and then it will get them ready to join. All right, so they won't even see this available, so you might want to put something in there ahead of time of like, hey, just so you know, this is, we, I am having this. And you, they should have that from your, from your syllabus anyway. But then I would just repeat that. So then I would just make another one for like period five. And I would just go up and do another one like that, plus assignment and do the same thing for them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move mine after independent practice before my assessment or maybe before guided practice, depending on what I'm doing that week to see where they need guidance. All right, so that's how you would do it. And then that's only going to allow that period in and that time period in.